G'day, I'm Jen Shaw from Emerge Cafe. Today we're going to show you some healthy, easy and affordable recipes that you can do from home. We're going to get started with some healthy nachos that only take a couple of minutes to whip up. Um, so this is just a four bean mix, which is um, about a dollar a can. So we're going to mix these guys in with some uh, tin of corn, but you could use some frozen corn kernels if you have them, um, and some spices and taco mix just to make them really lovely. We'll pop them in here. We'll add the corn. We'll add through our, um, it's just mixed Italian herbs, which you usually have in the cupboard, and taco seasoning, which you can use about um, a half of a little pouch that you can get at Woolies or Coles. We'll mix these ones through. So now we're going to mix through some diced tomatoes, um, which is just a 400 gram can will be enough for this one. And then just a little bit of pasta sauce. So you won't use the whole uh, jar of pasta sauce, but about half, so 250 grams, which is about a cup. And then just give that a really good mix through until it's nice and tomato-y. So after we've mixed all of this up, they just need to be heated. Um, and you can do that in a pot on the stove top, which only takes a couple of minutes, or pop them in a microwave safe container and do them in the microwave for a couple of minutes, stopping halfway through and giving them a stir. The beauty is that you can actually have these mixed up and in your fridge and they'll last a couple of days. So if you just need to um, have something to eat really quickly, you can just get what you need out and just heat that up and, and make nachos as you go. So I've got our hot Mexi bean nachos, they've just come out of the microwave. Now we're ready to put our whole nachos together. So I've got some yummy corn chips here, I like round, you might like triangles. Just make a nice little base down here with the corn chips. I like to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the base. If you're feeling really creative you might want to chuck this in the oven first and get the cheese all melted. Um, and then we can pour on our lovely Mexi beans and they smell so good. Right in the middle, delicious. And then I top some more cheese. You can never have too much cheese. A little bit of avocado or guacamole. Can't have nachos without guacamole. Some sour cream. And whoop, and we top it all off with a little bit of salsa. 